All right, made great progress getting all the seats out. Now we can start, uh, and we got the rubber stripped off the floor, so now it's time to start cranking on that plywood. Today we can start the task of uh, grinding off or cutting off all the miscellaneous screws that are popping up through the floor. Uh, we've got most of the bolts, but the screws that held on to plywood need to be need to be cut off. So uh, we'll start that and then start grinding out the rust and brushing off the rust and getting ready for rust treatment. It's dark here early this time of year and so we're still working on uh, grinding out the floor trying to get all the loose scale rust off so that we can put a rust converter on it uh, the other thing I found is that there's a bead of caulking all around the edge kind of down there it's a real pain in the neck to get off so I've been taking a putty knife and sort of scraping away at it and I think I got a good chunk of it out um, so I just got a couple more places that I'm gonna um, Use a wire brush uh, attachment on the uh, angle grinder. Um, a little bit I'd used an actual grinder to get off, you know, a bunch of the bolt heads that ex extended a little bit over the top of the floor. A couple of the like really scaly rust parts, uh, it was just too slow to go with the, uh, with the wire brush, so I took a grinder to it and ground that stuff down. Um, but for the most part, I got a good chunk of the loose scale off. I got a couple more spots to do in the back of the bus, I'll show you in a second. Uh, and then uh, we'll wash the whole thing down and get ready for the rust converter. Okay, you're making progress. Whew, it's a lot of grinding. Uh, but I think we're getting most of the the, um, the flake the flake rust out, so I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Pretty much worn down my wire brush to a nub, so I'm all out of that one. I have this flat wheel sander that I think I'm going to finish up with. Uh, there's this caulking in on the seams in between the floor panels, and that's kind of a pain to get off. Uh, I don't know if bristling it off is such a great idea. Um, it's really hard to sort of scrape off with. Uh, I'm just using like a, a you know a drywall mud spatula thing um, knife. So I'm going to give this flap wheel a try. I only got about three more seams down there to finish up, uh, and then touch it all up, and I think uh, you know wash it, clean it up, and it'll be ready for the rust converter. So we'll see how this goes. So yeah, that was pretty aggressive. Uh, took that right off. Tough to get in like nooks and crannies there, but uh, and I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but it seemed to work all right. Um, still smeared some of that caulking around a little bit. I may take some uh, solvent see if I can get that off. I'd like to go with this Rust Converter Ultra. Uh, there's a whole bunch of choices out there between Osfo and Coral Seal and things like that. And uh, in the description below I'll put a sort of a detailed side-by-side -side comparison analysis. Um, not that I used them all, I just researched them and uh, based on performance and cost and other factors I, I chose this. And so this to shake really good. <sighs> Okay, 
first coat down, I uh, used a uh, paintbrush to get the edges. This was easier than, than trying to get uh, the roller off to the side. Uh, and then it's kind of, it says 20 minute dry time, so we'll see how it goes, and I need to put on a second coat. Um, it's supposed to cover two, I don't have to check that coverage on it, but it looks like I have plenty left, which is awesome. Um, it makes it this uh, cool purple color right now. We're also at the timer. It's uh, not super warm today. It's supposed to be over 50 degrees. Uh, it says it's uh, 54 in here, so close, but within acceptable parameters. So I'll give it 20 minutes and check on it in a little bit. Okay, so we're here trying to dry up our rust converter, and I would say uh, where it was thin in 20 minutes, yeah, it was dry, but. Uh, where I slathered it on kind of thick, I was like, oh, there's a lot of rust there, I better put some extra on. It's been about an hour and a half, and it's still a little uh, still a little damp where it kind of pulled up, but I'm not sure if that's the product of me, probably me. But most of it's pretty dry, so I'm going to go ahead and put that second coat on, and hopefully we'll have no more rust. Places that were rusty turned into this sort of black hard polymer here. And the regular steel just got this white base on it. And sometimes it's hard to tell in here whether this is still sort of rust. And I might put actually even one more. I've got plenty of uh, plenty of it left, so I might put actually on one more coat just to see if it all turns this black like this instead of that brownish rust color we see in there. Okay, uh, last update on the rust converter in the bus. I found that if the rust was thick, even if it was tight, like I worked too hard at you know, scraping off all the scale rust and getting down to what I thought was solid metal, even though it looked rusty. If it was thick, if the rust was thick, the uh, rust converter didn't penetrate all the way through. So when I was drilling holes for the um, metal patches on top, you know, dust rust was coming out. So then I got a grinder and ground down through, and even though the top layer had converted, uh, the stuff underneath it was still rusty. So I went back and ground down you know, more of the thick stuff until I could at least see you know, pieces of metal so I knew it was getting pretty close. And, uh, and then I put another coat of the rust converter on and that seemed to do the trick. But it just didn't seem to penetrate anything that was thicker and it's hard to determine how much is thick. Is it you know, a sixteenth of an inch or you know, a thirty-second opposed to a sixty-fourth? I, I don't know. I didn't really measure it. But um, I did notice that uh, yeah, it didn't penetrate stuff that's thick. So if you decide to use that stuff, you know, make sure that you, um, you know, get down close to the metal and, uh, so that you can get all the way through. So, hey, that's, uh, that's the floor situation. It, it really marks the end of what I'm hoping is the deconstruction process, and then I can start moving into the construction process, which I'm pretty excited about. So I uh, hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, put a lot of information for you in the, uh, in, uh, in the description um, and the decisions that we made and why, and again, I hope that's useful. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and until you next time, uh, we'll see you out on the road or on the river or wherever we are.